how do the teachings of the Bhagavad Gita apply to mental health and well-being? The Bhagavad Gita, a 700-verse Hindu scripture that is part of the epic Mahabharata, offers profound insights into mental health and well-being. Its teachings, conveyed through a dialogue between Prince Arjuna and his charioteer, Lord Krishna, address fundamental aspects of human existence, duty, righteousness, and spirituality. The Gita's timeless wisdom is highly relevant to contemporary understandings of mental health, providing guidance on how to navigate life's challenges, manage emotions, and cultivate a state of inner peace and well-being. One of the central themes of the Bhagavad Gita is the concept of dharma, righteous duty. Arjuna faces a moral dilemma on the battlefield, torn between his duties as a warrior and his aversion to fighting against his own kin. Lord Krishna advises Arjuna to fulfill his duty without attachment to the results, emphasizing the importance of action over inaction. This teaching can be applied to modern life, suggesting that one should focus on their responsibilities and actions, rather than being overly concerned with outcomes. This approach can alleviate anxiety and stress related to uncertainty and expectations, promoting mental resilience. The Gita also discusses the nature of the self, differentiating between the eternal soul, Atman, and the temporary physical body. Understanding that the true self is eternal and unchanging can provide a sense of stability and peace amid life's transient challenges and sorrows. This perspective encourages individuals to identify with their innermost essence rather than their material circumstances, fostering emotional resilience and a deeper sense of contentment. Another significant aspect of the Gita's teachings is the practice of detachment, vairagya. Krishna advocates for a balanced approach to emotions and desires, advising Arjuna to act without attachment to joy or sorrow. This principle can be instrumental in managing emotional fluctuations and reducing suffering caused by attachment to specific outcomes or material possessions. Learning to observe one's emotions without being overwhelmed by them is a valuable skill for mental health, akin to modern mindfulness practices. Mindfulness and meditation are also emphasized in the Gita as means to achieve self-knowledge and inner peace. Krishna describes various paths to spiritual realization, including the path of knowledge, Janana Yoga, the path of devotion, Bhakti Yoga, and the path of disciplined action, Karma Yoga. These paths, particularly when they involve meditative practices, can enhance mental well-being by fostering a calm mind, emotional regulation, and a sense of connection to something greater than oneself. Finally, the Bhagavad Gita teaches the importance of surrendering to the Divine Will, Ishvara Pranidhana, and trusting in a higher power. This surrender is not about giving up personal responsibility but about recognizing the limitations of individual control and the peace that comes with faith. Such trust can help alleviate anxiety and stress, providing a spiritual foundation for facing life's uncertainties with grace and courage. In conclusion, the teachings of the Bhagavad Gita offer valuable insights into mental health and well-being. By addressing the importance of duty, the nature of the self, detachment, mindfulness, and surrender, the Gita provides a comprehensive framework for navigating life's challenges and achieving a state of inner peace and fulfillment. Its principles encourage individuals to cultivate resilience, emotional balance, and a deeper connection with their spiritual essence, contributing to overall mental and emotional health.